Me encuentro con un joven agricultor, productor estadounidense y en esta entrevista lo interesante que vamos a tener, que yo voy a poder preguntar con preguntas breves, eh, Williams me va a responder como, como él quiera eh, acerca de los tipos, de las formas de producir, de, de, de ser agricultor visto en, en dos aspectos Two aspect, aspect dos eh, micro y macro uh -huh. small y eh, big small big uh -huh. for small for uh -huh. and sí. eh, big for uh -huh. production sí. agricultor eh, bueno hello hello, hello. <laughs> Eh, es un gusto, gracias, thank you, Muchas thank gracias. you por la conversación, sí. por el diálogo y contame en primer lugar eh, quién sos vos, eh, who is eh, William uh, William Wiley Tarleton, es mí yes, yes, yes. y bueno, vos sos un agricultor que estás en la localidad de Nashville Uh -huh. y que te dedicas a, a qué tipo de, de agricultura agricultura de biodinámico es um, no nuevo pero en uh, en 1920 uh, Rudolf Steiner developed biodynamic agriculture with a book and lectures and um, I learned this way of agriculture from a man named Jeff Poppin who had learned and uh, uh, studied this type of agriculture in Tennessee and I learned it uh, from him. He was my mentor, uh, Jeff Poppin. Um, four years ago, Jeff Poppin introduced me to biodynamic agriculture and was my mentor and together we started a farm a small farm uh, with uh, a couple um, uh, in Nashville at By Faith Farm was the name of it they wanted to put agriculture on their land and grow food for families uh, so Jeff, um, they, um, they hired Jeff to teach them and me how to grow food. And for two years, I uh, studied and learned from Jeff and grew food for families. Um, we did what is called a CSA, Community Supported Agriculture, where families would buy um, would pay <clears throat> money in the springtime uh, to the farmer and then receive food once a week for eight months out of the year um, this way it helped with the risk that the farmer takes to grow the food um, and so we did not use any synthetic chemicals, no chemicals, yes. um, just a um, almost a peasant wisdom mm -hmm. um, taking only what you have on your farm or the local area and bringing it to the farm to create healthy soil. Um, so we used compost on our land from animals and we also used a combination of herbs and animal parts together in a compost pile to enliven the, the, the microbiology of the soil and of the compost. Um, these, <clears throat> these herbs and um, consisted of uh, uh, a small amount of the herb and animal 
onto the land. It was called almost a homeopathic um, spray with with liquid. Yes. Um, so <clears throat> the idea is that you introduce the small amounts of things that the microbiology needs to break down chemicals like potassium, phosphorus, nitrogen, um, magnesium um, cycles in the soil and make them available for plants to uptake through the soil. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's solar in solar in suelo. Suelo. Eso, esos suelos eh, son, son viejos, son viejos o suelos nuevos que ustedes agarraron para instalar Six Wood Growers Collective. Sí. ¿Y how many hectáreas? Um, very small, five hectares. Uh, Six Boots Growers Collective was started two years ago. I bought uh, si son, five. Si son desgastados o, o no estaban desgastados y ustedes lo, lo mantienen así uh, nuevos, vírgenes a, a ese suelo. Sorry. Yes, uh -huh. uh, yes. Two years ago, I bought a small piece of land right next to uh, two other farmers, and together we decided to grow food for people. The CSA model. Mm -hmm. So um, we started. Um, uh, there, there, there are it uh, and exist erosion. Mm -hmm. They both learned about uh -huh. biodynamic farming practices from Jeff Poppin as well on another farm. Um, which previous. factor? Which factor? Um, uh, which factor? Uh -huh. que, que originan, que producen. La, la erosión. Vegetables? Which type of vegetables? Or. Um, uh, I don't understand. Er erosión del suelo. Sí. No erosion. Que no hay erosión. Cero erosión. Mm -hmm. Cero erosión. That the idea is to build soil, create more soil, and more activity in the soil uh, with a microbiology. The small living organisms in the soil mm -hmm. to be healthy and if the idea being if your soil is healthy the plants are healthy and if the plants are healthy when people eat the plants they are healthy and then a cycle of that and Six Boots Growers Collective was myself um, Peter Burns and Kevin Sykes mm -hmm. Um, uh, why why Sigwood Grower Collective is a name es llamado Three. Eh, Independencia eh, Agricultura de Independencia Local o, hmm. o de Local Independencia We live near a city, a uh -huh. large city and have a lot of support in that city for local food in Argentina a lot of the good food gets exported out of Espor, the country. Export. Si. Pero city and city. Mm. Export city and city or export, export. Uh, country, country country. Country, country. In, country. in Argentina. Uh -huh. But in the US we want to keep our food in the city. Our money in the city. Our systems of strength in the city and with the the community. So we have a strong community that wants to support good food that they want to eat and protect the soil and have healthy soil for the land and for the community. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, uh, what or, or which uh, the Scala production? What scale? Scale production. Mm -hmm. El tamaño que usted alcanza en la producción por mm -hmm. export. Ah. Uh, um, 
we don't export uh -huh. anything. We keep it all in Nashville. In all Nashville. of our production yes. is in Todo en Nashville. All of it. All, all, mm -hmm. all, all, all production. See, si. we want to keep it in, in by the, Nashville. Mm -hmm. Everything's bought in Nashville. Only from we grow for only 60 families. So 60 families support us, support six boots economically so that we can support them with good food. So that is how we are able to live from their support, from the family's support. Yes, okay. Nashville, uh, no import. No. Uh, Only Nash export. Only export. No, it's very different. And both. Both, yes. We have modern, we have soybeans and corn and the regular large um, commercial growing in the area and uh, and animals um, but some people want to they don't want to eat food that was grown in China or grown in South America they want to eat food that was grown next door that was grown in their community the idea being that we keep money, food, we keep everything we do in, together. We want to keep it local so that our money and our health is supported from our family and friends. This is a small amount of people do this. Not very large, but more people are wanting to do this. Yes, yes.